Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 26 Episode 6. In the previous episode, we tried to do the laundry, but as you can see, it's uh, not yet finished off. We'll resolve that this episode. And we added another power station. We put in some um, door controls over here, which are currently not hooked up to anything. And there was a bit of a fight, which was, you know, these, these things happen, I guess. These things happen. In this episode... We're going to continue on. I don't think there's anything else really. So not specific. We're not really. I don't think we can do anything specific. I don't think. Well, apart from finish the laundry and um, hook up the door control and probably get some um, armed guards. Actually, there's there's a lot of things we're going to be doing. Anyway, let's just go to utilities and make sure with that. Yep, there we go. These are all powered up. These areas here. I just need to go to electrical cable. Run some electrical cable up and into these different areas like so. And yeah, like actually we'll run it this along. And then up into there. This is our second area for this. Well, this is our area for solitary. So, yeah, we're going to be getting uh, another area for solitary. We'll sort that out. But, sorry, that's, I, don't, I mean, don't mean solitary, do I? I mean visitation, of course. Visitation. Uh, solitary is down here, which we are currently using, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, that that is powered off. That entire oh, that that entire thing is powered off completely. I thought. It was connected for more than more than just one area. Oops. Uh, let's just go to electrical cable then, and we shall um, resolve that issue by running some cable like that. It's very horrible the way I run cable. I remember when I first started doing it, I used to run cable very neatly and along and across, but then I realised that it really doesn't matter. There's not, you know, it is a completely aesthetic thing. It's, well, you can save a bit of money if you plan it a little bit ahead, but it's not. It's so little that you can just go, ah, whatever, just, just do it, just get it done sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, until there's a reason to run it specifically in one way, then I'm, uh, I just, I just go whatever and just click and drag and get it done. Anyway, so we've got one of our... We've got one, another one of our grants done. We've uh, finished our cell block A, so we can go for cell block B, which has increased the uh, capacity to 50, and we are almost halfway there. We've got 24 uh, cells. Obviously, we can get another, uh, well, a fairly, a lot more, actually. How many we can get? We can get mm, probably 10 in that run there. So we can get nearly 40 other cells. So it's quite a bit. It's quite a, quite a bit. Anyway, this area is all clean, which is good. I'm glad that that is cleaned. I really need to sort this laundry out. I'm going to speed up to max speed because we can. The The current regime is very easy going. It's basically, you've got enough time to do whatever you want. Danger level's increasing and I don't know why. They're shouting for food. I'm going to change my meal quantity to high and the variety to high. And I think we'll leave that there. We need to go to staff and actually hire a couple more cooks, which is something that uh, people mentioned in the last episode. I just forgot about it. We should have got them from start. Oh my good grief, there's another death. Ah! Who is it this time? It's a workman. Who is booting off? Good grief. There's fighting down there. It's him again. It's Hillen. And is he going to grab them keys? And Oh my good grief, man. What is going on? Got a dead workman. The other workmen are getting chased around. Do, do we? Do we? Do the guards not bother going in there? Guards, do you want to sort this out? There we go. Get in there. So we've got a dead workman now, and that guy's got a set of keys. You should probably resolve that issue first. There you go. Right, he's now resolved. That that issue is resolved. We need to go in here though, and sort that out. Yeah, they're all shouting for food. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's the guy we want to stop. Stop him, please. And you do the same over there. That's Murdoch. <laughs> and what's he in for? Assaulting an officer. And he didn't actually assault an officer. He just killed a workman. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit of an upscale, that isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Wow. As always, it's interesting. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, I have no idea why that uh, why is that why cannot that be placed there? Oh, too dangerous, right? Yeah, of course, it's too dangerous to be placed. Danger level still increasing. It's basically basically because of the food. As soon as we have the food situation sorted, it should be all right. But we now have hopefully enough to resolve this. Let me put in the other utilities in here. We need to get. I think we do need some more, uh, some more cookers, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll put some more fridges in, there we go. 
Looks like the danger level is now going right down because obviously we, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're now feeding the prisoners, which is uh, all good, I guess. Let's just see if any one of these wants to become, yeah, there's an informant. Can we have this guy as an informant? We can as well. We can have another informant. Interesting. Let's recruit all the informants. If we can get everybody as an informant, then we're all good. Anyway, danger level, guess what? It's gone right down now. And then, oh, there is, a, there is a fairly big need for food from someone. It's probably the one that's in solitary, though. Anyway, let me just go to my utilities and see why this thing ain't plugged in. Why are they not doing this? It's because they're trying to get around and sort this out. I really, really do need to get on with putting the automated door system in. Check the door system up. You don't actually need, obviously, well, you only need one door system technically for the whole prison, but I'm going to separate it off just so it's easier to manage and easier to wire. So, where do we mainly need the doors? We need to go to door servo and we need to connect the door servo up to there, to there, to there, to there. All of these doors here, there and there. Okay, and there as well. And... Actually, you know what? If there's a door, it's getting servoed. That's just how we're going to do this. And you know what's going to be a real pain? I have to wire this thing up. And I'm not talking about just wiring for the... Oh, we need to do that one as well. And that one as well. And that one there as well, preemptively. I'm not just talking about wiring for the door controls. I'm talking about connecting it up, actually connecting the thing up with uh, power as well, because they need power. At least they did last time. Don't know if it's changed. I really hope it has, because it's uh, massively annoying. What the hell was that clunk? <laughs> There's a big clunk, and I don't know what it was. What are the workmen doing anyway? Oh, no, they're placing them. Ah, yes, door servos. Do they need power? They might need power. Yeah, they need power. Bollocks. That's really annoying, you know. It really, really is annoying because I'm going to have to run power along every single one of these now. Like that. And it means we're just going to run cable all over the place. Now, it's going to be a complete nightmare to do. All right. Now, if, that, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Right. So, I'll connect that up to that power there. Even though, By the way, these actually do work even if you don't connect them up. They still function. But uh, obviously, you still need the. Uh, you still need to actually physically connect it up like so. And that one is still without power. Although, when we run it across. No, it won't. We'll need to do that. Then we'll need to do that. And. We'll need to do that. Oh, good grief. So much cable. So little time. Right. Oh, and these ones as well. These ones as well. Sorry. My apologies. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is this is terrible. Uh, worst worst edition ever. Uh, <laughs> them doors needing power is is really really annoying. I think I'm not a fan to say the least. I can understand the reasons why you would need it, but uh, at the moment it is just you just having to run power cable everywhere. I don't know why you have to run a main power cable and it can't just connect up like the other stuff like that. You know, just they're just sort of. What would you call it? Like sympathetic connections? They're just there. They're there. You know, they're just automatically put in the lights. You don't need to wire them up. They're just connected if they're within a certain distance of the power cable. I would assume the doors would probably, probably would just play better if they were like that. Anyway, we're just going to wait for all of these guys to uh, finish that off. And then we can get on with that. Laundry, we still need to resolve that. But, um, you yeah, know, actually I might as well do it now to be fair. Because we're pretty much sorted. We'll go to our... Uh, laundry machines, and then we need ironing, but actually we need a table as well. That's a bench. Put it in the middle. Don't really need. Mm. How many laundry machines do I think I'll need? Not a lot. I'll put it at the back, like so, because you don't really go near it. And then ironing boards. Put like like that. Then the baskets. We'll put them like that. Because it doesn't really matter where you put them. Because all that's going to happen is they're going to move them anywhere. So it doesn't really matter. Right. Have they not... Why have they not finished that off yet? Oh yeah, we need to... Con Don't tell me you have to run it through the door. Oh my good grief. This is just insane. 
really is insane, this one. That is all planned. We'll just see what happens with that one. Right. So they're getting on with that. We can now start connecting stuff up. Now, the reason I'm separating these off is we're going to have different areas and it means that it's easier to wire. So this area around here and all of the airlocks will be controlled by one of them. Okay. So we'll go to connect. Then we'll connect up that and that. And basically the front door and such will be... You, this one will be in charge of it, I guess. Up to about... Uh, how far do I want it to go? I think... Well, how far do I want it to go there? And I think that's about it. I think that one as well. Yeah, that one as well. Right. All of them are controlled by that one. Excellent. The other ones, the ones back here, the actual cell, will be controlled by a different one as well. Controlled by that one. And I think we'll also put in these. Them doors there. Then we need another one, another door control, for all of what I would call the internal airlocks, which we haven't really done a lot with yet. Because they're not, they don't, they're not currently in existence. But these here, when we put the doors on there, that's what that one will be for. But most of that is now connected up. I think we're still waiting for them to power them up, and we'll put that there. And the rest are planned. We need to put that there. And oh, for good grief, this is just not fun. <laughs> that, that's, I mean, that's the thing, you know. You you can argue the uh, the benefit and whatever uh, of of having it like this and how accurate it is, but is it fun? I'm not convinced myself. I'm not convinced. Anyway, now that we spent like 57 hours on getting that sorted, I'm actually going to put in the large yield door there, which I should have had in a long time ago. They've got another guard monitoring that oh, on that door control system, so we might as well go to utilities and then to connections, and we need to check that connection's everything for the front there. That is the canteen and the cells at the back there. That's good. Then this one is going to be the airlocks. Actually, to be fair, that one can control that thing. And I haven't got a door control. A door servo, rather, there. So we need to sort that one out. And then, obviously, we'll connect it up in but a moment. Why have they still not powered up? Oh, you need to have it there. Just... I mean, that's to be fair, that's where it's flashing. But you'd think it would be on there. Anyway. But enough rants about that for the time being. You need to run the cable through it. Right. So there's most of them door controls done. I'm actually happy with that. It seems to work quite well. Danger level, we ain't, we ain't got any. Which is good. So I'll check our needs out. Sleep needs are getting fulfilled, obviously. Hygiene needs are there. Food needs are there. But we should be resolving that shortly. And then we can get on with our laundry and such. Actually, what I'm going to do... I need to run some pipe up there. So we'll run pipe like that. There we go. And that should make the laundry work. And then we need to assign people to get a bit of work done. So we'll go to work. And we'll say, actually what we'll do, we'll have just work time after this block here. And this will all be changed properly. We'll, we'll, we'll really mess around with the regime. Probably spend a full episode concentrating on it and messing around with it. But we will get on with... Uh, let's force that open. Uh, we'll get on with that once we've sorted out the... Oh, look, see, that's... Where do you... There's no real specific place of powering up. It says there, in the centre bit there, but then it says on itself there. Oh, that's danger level increasing and I don't know why. I'm guessing it's the need for food. Uh, hygiene. Which is getting fulfilled. That's alright. I'm going to put that guard in there, though, because I have a feeling it's going to boot off. It was preempted. <laughs> it was already booting off. Okay. Oh, my good grief. Is a This is almost a riot. Normal speed, please. We've already got one person unconscious, one guard unconscious, two prisoners un... Oh, three prisoners unconscious. It's him again, isn't it? I reckon that guy shut the door. I reckon he is a legendary prisoner. Nothing I can really do about it, though. That's the problem. Anyway, 
We've got a lot of food coming shortly. I might have to change it so we have more food needs. Uh, so we have more uh, food time. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Right, let's just go to our staff and probably hire... Do I hire some more guards? No, I don't need to hire some more guards. I was going to do some dog handlers and such, but we haven't got that yet. Let us just go to then deployment and then to jobs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. We only need six people working in the laundry for the moment. For the moment. Let's just go to deployment and... Actually, no, it's utilities in it to get this connected up. We're connecting up that. There we go. And then the internal airlocks, these ones, powered by that one in the center. In fact, I'm even going to... Do I rewire that one to that one? I really should, but I want to remove the connections. But it's no easy way to remove the connections, so you know what? I'm just going to keep it as is. There we go. Right, that's pretty much wired up okay, I think. That's pretty much wired up okay. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be taken to the uh, solitary and such. Let's just go to our contraband and then informants. As you can see, we've got a fairly good coverage on him. He's being taken in here and will be, obviously, medical up and such. medical duped. Is that a word? I mean, it is now. I don't know if it's a proper word, but anyway, that guy's bleeding all the way to that area, so... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he'll be alright. He'll be fine. Uh, we haven't done a full shakedown yet, and I think we will get on with that, but I'm not too sure when. What I want to do is speed up to max speed and let it crack on. We've still got danger level increasing. It's probably because of the food need. Yes, it is. And there's some hygiene need as well, and I'm guessing it's because of these in here. So, none of these can... There, can they become confidential informants? That guy's strong. I'm guessing most of these are actually informants anyway. Let's have a quick look. In our contraband tab here, informants. One of them is. That guy's a potential informant. Recruit informant. There we go. So we've got a little bit of an informant there. Now where is him? I'm gonna I'm gonna activate one of our CIs. It's uh Hillen 3, Aaron. Or Aaron Hillen. I'm gonna bring him to our security station. I'm gonna have a little chat. I'm gonna see what we've got around this place. See what we've got. Right, danger level is still increasing here, and this is because of the food, I'm guessing. Once we've got the... Once we have the laundry up and running, though, and they have a good meal, everything should be back to normal-ish. But remember, high-risk prisons generally just boot off for no reason at all anyway, so it's generally problematic. That guy just went to a big black square for the time, for a little bit there. Right, we need to go to our programs, and we need to start some of these things. So we've got carpentry apprenticeships, behavioral therapy, uh, pharmacological drug treatment, alcoholics, all that sort of stuff. We can't do any of these yet. I'm going to get behavioral therapy, and we're going to start some behavioral therapy. All rooms booked. There we go. We've got three sets of behavioral therapy to see if we can get... That resolve. That's something we haven't really touched on this series so far. We're getting, you know, do, doing behavioral therapy. The hearse is still stuck there. I would have assumed that they would have taken the body off, or maybe they already have, and it's just glitched. Oh, there it goes. It's moving off. <laughs> okay. Unless it's classed as an export, and because we haven't got any export area, it's uh, not taking it. What I'll do then? There's another. Yeah. Look. <laughs> There's a hearse coming along. The hearse keeps coming and going. Um. That, that's a new one. Never seen that one before. Anyway, so, uh, where's the janitor? Actually, what I'm going to do, what I want to do, I want to start cleaning this area. So we need to go to our cleaning cupboard, like so. And then we need to go to our jobs. I think we'll do it in, say, how many do you want to sign there? Sign six to it, I think. Yeah, six to it. Now... I know when I put this laundry and cleaning cupboard in there, there were some people saying no bad bad option and such. Because originally the whole point was to separate this thing off. Separate the entire prison off. So we've got our our gen pop prisoners here, right? Which is actually high risk. But that's the, you know, the most, uh, what would you call them? It's what the, basically the prisons we have the most of, right? So we've got our high risk here. And then the top and bottom we're going to have our... Supermax uh, 
area and also a protective custody area and the whole point was to separate them off so that's where we go for the regime a lot of people were saying things like separate off the canteen into two areas so they never mix but that's that re that's whole, that goes against the whole point of what what I'm trying to do with this series is the whole point was to try and make a prison that has universal rooms over here so universal uh, you know visitation and common room and the cleaning cupboard and well yes yeah, to some extent the cleaning cupboard and things like that and then We'll have a regime that makes sure that they don't, well, it is made so that they don't really interact with each other. They might cross each other in the corridor, but that's pretty much it. So when one set is out doing, like, say, eating in the canteen, the others will be locked up. That sort of thing. And that's going to be a very hard thing to manage. Very, very hard indeed. And I don't know if it's possible, but it's going to be, it's about finding out, right? It's, it's the uh, journey, not the destination. The, <laughs> there's that hearse coming and going constantly. The... Cleaning cupboard and the laundry, though, were a bit of a sticking point to some people. Some people said we should have a separate areas because who are we going to assign to the cleaning cupboard? Well, fact is we can assign anyone to the cleaning cupboard we want, but we also have to stagger the work. So if we have, say, 10 people assigned to the cleaning cupboard, we can't just have, uh, you know, super max prisoners and the other prisoners working on uh, the cleaning cupboard. At the same time, because they might can't try to kill each other, or the Supermax might just try and, you know, start punching in some of the informants that are protective custody, that sort of thing. So it's problematic at best, and it's going to be, yeah, difficult to find out. Anyway, so let's have a quick look at my uh, informant here, and I want to check. That guy's been activated. So, extremely tough, fearless. That guy's doing behavioral therapy. We still haven't found out... Well, some of these questionable ones there. We do need to activate some more people, but he is getting a... He's doing behavioral therapy. I reckon he's a legendary prisoner, you know. I reckon he's a legendary prisoner, but we'll see what happens. Right. So, what else is there to build? Well, we've got a lot to build. Let's get on with, I think, Alcoholics Anonymous and the staff room. So, let's go to materials and then brick wall. We're going to bring the brick wall... Down about there, I want a, I want a larger classroom than this area, to be fair. So we'll have our separate common room there for, well, I guess it would be, yeah, Alcoholics Anonymous and such, and then a classroom there. We also need a, we also need some dogs, don't we? So I think we'll get on with that. Armory and Kennels, we can't get on with that. We need to go Bureaucracy first, and then Research Dogs, CCTV, Armory... Research education. Yeah, that's a lot of research done. <laughs> we also need to put CCTV up as well. We do need to put some CCTV up. It looks like they're cleaning the area as well, which is quite good. I think we do need some more cleaning staff, though. Hmm. So far, it's been almost, a, well, half a day and we haven't had a major fight again. So that's, you know, every cloud and all that. I think that this kitchen is too small. I think it's going to be too small for what we need, you know. Especially with the amount of prisoners we can have, like, over here. So we're going to have to put another set of cookers in. We might have to do a full redesign on that one. But doing it while you're playing is not easy. It's, uh, in fact, quite, quite difficult. Right. Looks like they've got on with this area down the bottom. So I just need to go to my rooms and then to... We still haven't got classrooms. So I'm going to have to go to... I think... Should we put this in now? Yeah, we'll put, Alcoholics An we'll put Alcoholics Anonymous in now. So we just need to go to Common Room and we'll get that sorted. There we go. And then we'll have another door there. Oh, there. And then inside of this area, we need to put our tables and chairs. So there's never really been... I don't know exactly what chairs you can use. I'm just going to put standard, ooh, standard chairs like that. And then we'll put some... Uh, wide sofas in just because we can. I've seen sofas used. It's weird. I've seen sofas used in the thing. And I'll put some little sofas in as well. <laughs> there we go. That should be that resolved. That's a common room sorted. And obviously we need to go to utilities, electrical cable, and just run a bit of electrical cable in there just to power that last bit up. And then we should be able to go to reports and then alcoholics group therapy. We should be able to start that. All rooms booked. I'll wait until they've finished building it then. As soon as they've got them in there, then, then there we should be all right. Pharmacological drug treatment. We might as well start that. Zero and Q. So none are actually needing it anyway. So we don't need to do it. 
Alcoholics, group therapy, all rooms booked again. I think it's because we've got a separate area like that. Hmm. Reschedule. If we stop one of these... There we go. We had too much behavioural therapy going. Yeah. I think it's just because of the way we've got this... Uh, it's got it set up because... You need a good set of... You need basically work... It needs to be work time. So we put two hours of work there. We should get some more. But we need to alter this. We need to alter that. The whole thing anyway. The whole regime. We need to overhaul it. This is, like I said, sort of a alpha -y test... Uh, Scenario we're still trying to get prisoners and make sure this thing works and I know one of the things that we are lacking is security So what I'm going to do next episode is get the armory up and running and Then get some guard patrols and I think some dogs and generally We will uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we will do well, I'm just gonna do a full shakedown before we finish this episode because we haven't done one of them yet And any one of these by the way could be tunneling and we don't know yet and the problem that we have is that Where'd that saw come from? <laughs> that's from previously the problem we have is that I Don't have any dogs to sniff around the back here because they're probably gonna dig along and out and this isn't a perimeter wall So it's risky. It is risky finding a finding a tunnel is nowhere near as easy as it was in the previous alphas. You have to actually rip the toilet off the wall. You have to dismantle the thing. Anyway, we're searching everybody. Obviously, danger level's increasing, but they can just put up with it. There's a bat on. Generally, that was okay. Nothing too major there. Right, I think we will call it there. As always, comments in the comments. Next episode, we're going to get, so, we'll get the armory up, we'll get CCTV up, maybe, and GM really progress on. I think we're doing alright, but, uh, yeah, this could go either way at any moment. That's, the, that's what I fear. Anyway, we'll see what happens, won't we? As always, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.